kind of sound, and they have some choices on them. So the compressor, you know, you can do the wet dry kind of kind of mix thing, and when they link, it becomes master slave. Where wet dry is separate, gain is separate, but it's a single threshold and single attack and release kind of functions on it. Part of the trick with the tube thing, though, is you can have it clean and you can have more color, more richness out of it. So how, what I did was color switch. So no negative feedback on the tube gives a fatter sound. And with, with negative feedback, it's a more, you know, a little cleaner, more upfront kind of sound out of it. And this will sound exactly like an LA-2A or a TLA-100. And it's really simple to use. If you set attack and release in the middle, just turn the threshold and have some gain reduction and on a vocal it's like a set and forget. You don't even have to think about it. It just really takes care of itself. It's a really easy to use kind of compressor that way. And you know, when you operate them in stereo, you're still just operating this, but the, the gain controls, you gotta be a little, they're a little touchy to match, match because you know there's small knob and a small space kind of thing. And to go with the compressor, there's a tube preamp that can, you can instrument direct input. Uh, there was actually just a review on these two in Mix Magazine, Barry Rudolph did, which is potentially useful information in there. And, you know, Barry was saying, well, this was one of the better DI or direct input kind of Tube, tube devices he ever used. So, so the preamp, it, it's a two-stage thing. There's a pad on the input. The, the overload lights light about 6 dB below clipping. So you can use it as, if it flashes a little bit, okay, we're starting to push the tube a little bit and getting more kind of color out of it. And, and with a little bit of use, it becomes easy to judge your level with it. And, but you can turn the output down and the input up and do overdrive kind of things. So you can use it for, you know, kind of guitar distortions and, and that sort of thing, or, you know, group drum distortion sort of things. And the, the input overdrive light, the gain is changed by the pad switch. The output one, the gain is changed, you know, by the input gain control on it. Mic input or the DI on the front. It's a 24 dB per octave low cut filter. I think it's 90 hertz, you know, to get rid of rumble and that sort of thing. And this chip is the same thing. It's negative feedback on the second tube stage. So no negative feedback or with negative feedback. The width you have lower distortion. The no negative feedback. It, it's more even harmonic kind of stuff. Maybe works a little bit better for overdrive kind of things. Uh, so it's a little, you know, warmer, kind of fatter sound, but it's also gain dependent and, and it will change that if you do a pad or you change these relationships, it can change the sound quite a bit on it.